from the show that is always on your side. This is I to I, Kansas City. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us here on a special report edition of I to I, Kansas City. Uh, now, what we've got going on in Ferguson, Missouri, is that a grand jury has decided to not move any further with an indictment to uh, with indicting uh, Officer Darren Wilson, uh, who shot an unarmed 18-year-old Darren Michael Brown. Excuse me. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. There is no probable cause to bring indictment to Darren Wilson. That is what Robert McCall, McClotch, uh, had talked about in a press conference. Uh, their the jury, the, the grand jury, had grand looked jury at every piece of evidence, 70 hours decision. of testimonies they determined that, uh, no that were inconsistent due to uh, any charge against Officer Wilson. Uh, uh, people no retracting what they originally the said and what they did say Physical or what they didn't and say and then adding more to a new testimony. And, and this is what Robert also, what Robert McCall, Clutch, uh, me, had uh, talked about. Now, this w now this particular grand jury, as we heard, this is a different kind, a uh, different type of grand jury in a way because this grand jury had has is making this decision or has made or has uh, the uh, action uh, has had the action of uh, moving forward with uh, a trial jury and uh, bringing indictments and or bringing indictment uh, to uh, officer Darren Wilson now what we've heard prior to this particular event is that uh, D uh, officer Darren Wilson was to resign and and was to uh, be off the police force that's what we've heard and that also that he got married or got engaged or well, Messed that second day. He got uh, married at the courthouse where the grand jury was deliberating. Now this took days, two days of deliberation, and uh, pretty much, excuse me, pretty much has had uh, the public side on whether this was going to go forward or not. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, what we're what we've getting word on from Ferguson that the mood is nowhere close to happy, nowhere close to happiness in Ferguson, nowhere close to joy, nowhere close to anything. Uh, what we've getting notes of there are a few people that are lashing out with this particular decision that don't agree with this decision. Um, right now, what we're going to do is give you the uh, the makeup of the grand jury. Now, of course, we know that there's 12 in total, but however, there is nine that are white. And so there's nine white people on this that were on this jury, three black people that were on this jury, seven women, seven that were women. I mean, excuse me, seven that were men, and five that were women. Now, like I've like I've previously told you not too long ago, is that this uh, particular grand jury was on was ooh, excuse me was on the uh, had to hear seventy hours testimony. So what Robert McClutch had talked about is uh, inconsistencies, and this probably was what may have, I'm not going to say is or was, but may have contributed to this particular decision as the uh, different inconsistencies of testimony and different inconsistencies of that. I know listening to 70 hours of testimony would be very difficult. For anybody, ooh, excuse me, thank you, I needed that cup of water. So at this time, just to reiterate with you, is that the that the decision to move forward is not going to happen. 
there is just not going to happen. There is not going to be a jury trial at all. Now, had this went on, there would have been a possible, there would have been possible charges brought against Darren Wilson. But, however, that uh, there's been many stories that were told about how Michael Brown approached uh, Officer Wilson. <coughs> excuse me. And how uh, Wilson had brought shots. So there was stories of how. <coughs> <coughs> There were stories of how uh, Michael, um, how Brown had his hands up and then ran away from uh, Brown. I mean Wilson and and so forth and so on. There's been some backwards and forwards uh, hearsay, pretty much, on what took place. But uh, here's my back. Here's my commentary on what is going on and what has took place uh, with this. First of all, I want to talk to those that are not of color, and I want to say this in a way that you need to understand. How would you like to be profiled? and targeted and picked on and ridiculed and and all this other good stuff how would you like to be picked on about every single chance that you got how would you want someone to treat you you will never have to live a day being a, a person of color you will never have to live be live in a black person's shoes must I say you will never, ever, ever have to understand. You will never have to understand those particular issues. So until you jump into those shoes, I strongly suggest that some of you hush it up. Now I know some of you just want to know the truth and, and wants to and, and know where things stand. I understand how some of you feel. Now, what we're getting word of now is that the president is going to be speaking on this particular decision from Ferguson, Missouri, with the grand jury making its decision, and with uh, Robert McClotch, the St. Louis County prosecutor in this particular case. We're going to hear some words from him if we didn't already hear from it. I didn't hear anything uh, prior to me getting on the air, so uh, we're awaiting some kind of statement and some kind of... Uh, of uh, situation uh, from the president. We haven't heard any uh, recalls or remarks from the president. But I know that people are uh, get, looking at some pictures from NBC News right now is that the mood in Ferguson is not anywhere close to uh, happiness at this time. I'm looking at a police car at this time being uh, destroyed pretty much people were jumping on the on the police vehicle uh, at this particular time uh, but we, we, we will get to some of this particular uh, uh, to these events that are going forward in Ferguson here in the coming up uh, editions of eye to eye Kansas City and I will give you my full commentary on what has took place on this particular thing but as I uh, we want to uh, break in and tell you that as well, that the mood is nowhere close to happy, that the uh, people are not satisfied with this particular issue, with this particular uh, decision that has came from uh, the grand jury in Ferguson, Missouri. Now, also the thing I wanted to talk about in my uh, commentary is that the issues that is going on, uh, that has took place, was, is uncalled for. I know that people are mad, and but it doesn't call for you to go all crazy and, and, and destroy a town, your own town. It doesn't call for you. And I know, I know you're mad and that you have a right to be mad. But we ought to channel that into a lot of things, too. It's just how that goes. And I know nothing is going to be nothing is going to satisfy what has took place on uh, on that on uh, November 24th nothing is going to really bring any closure to the Brown family 
I mean, they'll get to a point of closure and everything, and they have to move on. But nothing is going to be satisfied. Nothing is going to be. Um, I'm at, I'm at a loss for words, to be honest with you. But what I am going to say is that Darren Wilson will have to live with that on his record. Whether, whether the truth is that, you know, Michael moved towards uh, Darren Wilson and was shot and however. And, you know, there's, there's two sides to the story that we may not ever hear. But I can suspect that there will be some members of the jury that will come forward to the media and will maybe show that. I'm not really going to go there on this particular case because, you know, you just never know. But we will have the latest coming up on a later edition of Eye to Eye, Kansas City. Uh, as I want to iterate with you that there is no probable cause to bring, in, to bring an indictment towards uh, Officer... Darren Wilson at this time who shot unarmed 18 year old Michael Brown we will see you on a later edition of I to I Kansas City you can always keep connected on I to I Kansas City on I to I KC .com rather and with our partners with the Associated Press and with their YouTube channel as well so we will keep you monitored and keep you advised of the mood of what's going on for the coming hours and days and so forth of the particular decision from the grand jury. Thank you everyone for watching. We'll keep you updated.